What's up guys, today I wanted to go ahead and show you guys Samsung desktop support experience. Uh, this is something a lot of people don't uh, take advantage of, I noticed, and I kind of gloss over it in my video. So today I'm going to show you guys what exactly is it, how it can be useful uh, to you guys. So you may or may not like it. I actually kind of like it. I use it uh, from time to time if I want, uh, you know, just something on my phone to have a bigger experience, maybe on the TV or you know on the PC I'm gonna show you guys on the uh, PC because that's my favorite way to use it but to get to desktop support and it works on older flagships newer flagships it does not matter it works the same uh, you're gonna go to deck support and you can see an option here for uh, the TV or just an individual monitor you can hardwire it right uh, through uh, HDMI or you can just plug it in via USB-C or you can do it on uh, the just wirelessly beam it right to your TV if you uh, desire it works great uh, both methods and you can also like I said you really want to get fancy you can put a controller to this um, if you have the Xbox game pass or the you know the PS4 stuff uh, you can you know connect your controller to your phone play games beam it onto the TV uh, there's a ton of stuff you can you can like turn this into like a little mini console so it's really cool I'm gonna show you guys the concept so let's go ahead and get started Alright guys, so here is the Samsung desktop support. As you can see, it really looks like a PC. And all you have to do is, this is just plugged in via uh, USB-C. You download the desktop support app. It's a super small file size. And you install it. And as soon as you plug it in, it'll recognize it and you're good to go. So you can see, I really like this. So one of the main things that I try to tell people to use this thing for is if you're, let's say, you're in the living room, right? And you want to beam it to your TV, right? And you want to show people like maybe a video on your phone instead of passing the video around right or passing your phone around now you can just see it all your pictures and video on your pc monitor or your tv i've always thought this was a really cool feature i i usually like to come in here and look at photos just so i can see the full high resolution shot um on here as well too and uh, yeah it's something that i really like i really like to use it for that and you can see the interface i can string it really looks like a you know a pc here open everything and I do like this just to use some applications in full screen as well too you can see the menu here open close the file manager is pretty clutch so if you are an advanced user you know on your phone you can take advantage of the file manager move files um, delete stuff rename It's all just so much more easier and again if you wirelessly do it uh, you can do it with a keyboard and mouse even on your phone if you have a wireless keyboard or mouse or you can do it with a dongle however you want to do it you know with Android it's super flexible and um, you can see Samsung internet on here so let's say you're on your TV you want to use the Samsung internet browser uh, basically you know a, a desktop browser here so it has a, just a really cool multitasking uh, experience as well too and uh, just to show you guys, you have your multitasking, home button, back button, app drawer right here. You can see all my applications. Any application that I want to use in full screen. You can see my Netflix on here. Boom. So yeah, definitely play around with this guys. My messages, I can text message from here. And also I can still use my phone. I can still use my phone as normal guys. That is also a very important thing. I can still use my phone with no issues. I'm not like bound to the desktop support, um, you know, since I'm on it. I can actually do other stuff on my phone as well too. You see our calendar is on here as well. You can see our control center is right here. So it's really like your phone just beamed to the desktop. Now I want to show you what a lot of people use this for and I think this is also the next essential thing here. It's definitely gaming if you, like I said, you want to plug up your controller or you want to just game on a bigger screen because you just, you know, you don't like the smaller screen. You can come in here, full screen, one of my favorite games, Subway Surf, and then look, boom, we're playing Subway Surf. And it's running fairly fast. It'll run even better if you put it on uh, the HDMI because this is just through USB Type C. I noticed that people got better performance, but it's still pretty fast um, wirelessly and through USB C. It's pretty fast. And you just use your mouse to act as a touch screen with the gestures and stuff like that. So you can see me just swiping over, up. And I've seen people play emulators on here, your Xbox Game Pass. Uh, so if you enter the cloud gaming, boom, you know, beam this to your TV, 
connect your controller, Xbox controller, PS4, whatever you want to do, and then boom, you're you know playing full Xbox games from your phone, you know, on your uh, TV or PC. So I just think it's a super cool uh, thing for you guys to know about. I would definitely check it out. Just check it out and see if you like it. Do you have any use for it? Like I said, it comes in handy um, a lot for me. Um, yeah, so you can come in here and customize the wallpaper as well too if you want to. I'll keep it on that one. Um, but yeah, so be sure to let me know what do you guys think about Samsung desktop support? Do you guys use it? Do you guys think it's a useless feature? Be sure to let me know and I'll catch you guys in the next one.